Hey guys, are you here? And today I'm going to be answering, <laughs> I say this every video, one of your most asked questions. And this actually was a very, very popular question down below in the comments and over on the Twitch channel. And that is a key binding tutorial. All right, cut out these YouTube intros. Let's get into it, all right? First things first, I'm gonna say two things. One, I've already done a video very similar to this six or something years ago, six years ago, and I just kind of wanted to reiterate a lot of what I'm saying. All of my key bindings, or most of them, are the same, and then two, I overarchingly think that key bindings are personal preference. So you guys should not copy mine verbatim. Instead, do what's comfortable for you. But having said that, let's get into the guide and the reasons why I chose the key bindings that I did here on my mage. So the first thing I really want to talk about, and this is probably one of the most important things, is having a system that makes sense to me in my brain. And what I mean by that is when I have a normal ability on a key binding, I have it bound to a normal key binding. So for example, the side button on my mouse right here is Fire Blast, okay? Now I have a mouse over of that same key binding, right? Mouse over Fire Blast. For me, all my mouse over modifies are on shift. So knowing that my shift fire blast is shift in the side mouse button. Boom, okay. Actually for the video, I'll actually show you guys all of my key bindings. I have some hidden ones down here that I normally don't have. So my mouse over fire blast, boom, shift and the original fire blast key bind and without shift it's just the normal fire blast key bind okay on live i use focus macros on live world of warcraft i use focus macros instead of mouse over so i have shift for all of my focus on classic i use shift for all of my mouse overs so polymorph is bound to scroll down pop quiz what is my mouse over polymorph bound to if you guys have been paying attention thus far in the video you already know Shift mouse wheel down is my mouse over polymorph. Yep, shift mouse wheel down. Counterspell. Counterspell is bound to V, okay? It's like Dora the Explorer. What's my shift V key binding, guys? Mouse over counterspell. Okay, so this is a system that makes sense to my brain. This is how I key bind my characters on live WoW for high level arenas. This is how I key bind my characters on um, classic for the epic 1v2, 1v3, 1v4. 1v5 situations in world PvP and duels, of course, and battlegrounds. Okay, so V, shift V, scroll down, shift, scroll down. Uh, mouse button, shift mouse button. I think those are all the mouse overs I use for classic WoW. Mm, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but if I wanted another one, it would simply be shift and that button because that's how it makes sense to my brain. So what would I recommend to you guys? You don't necessarily need to use shift. You don't even necessarily need to use the same system I'm using but make, make sure it makes sense to your brain so that when you're playing, it's fluid. And I guess that's the point of this video. Your key binding should be something that's very, very fluid for you so that as you're playing, boom, um, non-shift can hit the target I want on my current target, and then with that shift modifier, boom, mouse over. I guess I should mention, for those of you that don't know what mouse over is, instead of attacking your current target, it'll attack the... Um, character that the mouse over is on. So if I have my mouse over this guy with the mouse over intellect, it would actually use arcane intellect on this orc rogue right here versus me, even though I'm targeted. So it's almost like a focus frame in a way where you can use a mouse over setting. So that's the first thing. System that makes sense for your mouse over key bindings or your focus key bindings if you're on live World of Warcraft. That's big number one. Okay, moving on. Number two, I think the abilities that you have to hit in sequence should be able to be hit in sequence, right? When I say it out loud, it's like, does are, come on, let's get to the meat of the video. This is the meat, boys, this is the meat, enjoy it, okay? Um, I think shatter combos are very, very strong for mage, right? So I should be able to hit something like Nova, Frostbolt, and Cone of Cold in sequence very easily. Tab three, one, easy. What would be a bad example of this? If my Frostbolt was bound to Shift 3 and my um, Kona Cold was bound to Alt 1 and my Nova was bound to G, that would be hard to hit in sequence. G, Shift 3, Alt 1 isn't an easy sequence to hit. 
So I, when you guys are making your key bindings in World of Warcraft, make sure your key bindings are easy to hit in sequence in the sequence you need to hit them in. For example, I'm not saying Shift 3 is a bad key bind. I use it myself for Mana Gem. I also use Alt 1 for a key bind um, for Fire Ward. Right? I make sure that I can hit these in sequence while still doing my rotations. So all of my stuff is easily um, accessible in rotations. My ice block is on my mouse. No matter what I'm doing with my left hand on my keyboard, I can still use ice block on my mouse keybind, which is the backwards button keybind. I have a mouse with two side buttons, the back and the forward. The forward is fire blast. Like we covered, the backward one is ice block. Now. Um, just to kind of cover my other key bindings, Ice Block is that back mouse button, and then Cold Snap is Shift and that back mouse button. To my brain, that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna Cold Snap, or I'm gonna block with that key bind, and then Shift to that key bind is going to be Cold Snap. So say your Ice Block was five, Shift five could then be Cold Snap. A system, once again, that makes sense to my brain, so that when I'm playing, it is very, very fluid. Okay, so a lot of these things, I just wanna be able to hit in sequence as I need them. Um, so if you're a rogue, your um, cheap shot, your sinister strike, your backstab should be able to hit in sequence, your gouge, um, stuff like that. It shouldn't be modifiers for the simple, spammable key bindings. For something that's simple, something that's spammable, you know, frostbolt for mage, um, sinister strike for rogue, um, smite or you know, flash heal for priest. Um, these things that you're going to be hitting over and over and over, um, you want on a non-modified key that is very, very easy to hit, especially in sequence with other like abilities that you chain them frequently with. Okay, um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how I have my key binds laid out. Um, laid out. I also have rank one abilities of certain key bindings. This was a little trickier because on live World of Warcraft, you don't need multiple key bindings. On classic World of Warcraft, you do need multiple key bindings. And once again, it was just a system that kind of made sense to my brain. Um, rank 1 Frostbolt, I put on my Ring of Frost, right? Ring of Frost key binding was 5 on Live World of Warcraft. Rank 1 Frostbolt, boom, slow, right? Um, I can slow someone down with that same key binding. Um, and then, like, Rank 1 Arcane Explosion, I really had to start making up some key bindings as well for something that felt comfortable. And I think at the end of the day, something that you haven't changed or haven't touched for many, many, many years is going to be a system that your brain starts to understand and grasp. Just make sure it's consistent. Um, something else I also wanted to mention in this video was the placement of my abilities. So I'm going to go ahead and rehide this bottom right action bar. The placement of these abilities. I have all of my kind of defensive-esque stuff right here. Evocation, Ice Block, Cold Snap. In one quick glance, I can see the cooldown of these three big, big defensive-ish cooldowns, right? On the right side of the screen, I have my Cannibalize my healing potions, how many band-aids I have, my food and my water, all together, I can easily quick glance and see exactly what I have to make sure that I don't die and or evaluate what I can do to survive, okay? Right here, ice barrier, mana shield, close together. I can quickly glance which one is up, which one I have enough mana for, which one's on cooldown, which one I can use. Same thing with uh, trinkets. Normally this would be my PvP trinket, right? Medallion of the Horde. Since um, phase two isn't out yet or phase three isn't out yet, we will not have that. Um, but um, just assuming this is where my trinket will be on shift one, I have shift one and shift two very easily, um, you know, right next to each other accessible. I can see, do I have Will of Forsaken up and do I have trinket up? With one glance, I can see that, okay? Um, I know this isn't filled in either, but R is normally my grenades, and F is normally going to be my stun trinket, the three second stun trinket, I can't think of the name currently. This is gonna be my stun trinket, this is gonna be my grenades. So at a quick glance, I can see, do I have a stun trinket available, yes or no? Do I have a counter spell available, yes or no? And do I have grenades available, yes or no? Uh, the trinket name was Tidal Charm, by the way. Thank you, Twitch chat. Thank you, Twitch chat. I'm doing this live on stream, by the way, sick. Um, do I have Tidal Charm? Do I have Counterspell? Do I have Iron Grenades or any type of grenades? That's all my control, boom, at a glance, okay? So your key bindings, you want to be fluid, you want to be comfortable, you want to have a system that makes sense, you want to hit things that you hit frequently on non-modifiers and things that you might not hit as frequently on those modifiers, but you also want to lay them out in your bars in a way where you can see things very um, concisely as you're in PvP combat or PvE combat, you can look, what control do I have? 
what defensives do I have? What type of mana, uh, mana help do I have? What type of health help do I have? Um, right here, I have both ranks of Arcane Explosion. Which one do I have mana for? Top rank or bottom rank? I did a rank video that explains when you should be using both. Um, same thing with my Blizzard, my Scourge, my Fireball. And then um, for, you know, this is one through five is kind of just, just basic. But then, like I said, with my Shields, with my Nova and my Kona Colder together, and with my Trinkets. So my, action, my, my UI is laid out perfectly as I want it so that I can glance at any area of the screen, know exactly what I have and what I don't have. I think that is probably just as important or more important than the key bindings themselves, right? You want to be able to glance quickly and see what you have. Um, one more final point, I do think for abilities that you are not hitting very often at all, you can have um, either one hard key bindings to hit them if you're only hitting them every once every 30 minutes, or you can even click them. Um, and you guys are probably clipping this right now. It's like, Zaryu, are you promoting clicking? Are you a clicker, Zaryu? I knew you were a clicker the whole time, Zar. Okay, Ice Armor, Dampen Magic, you're putting up once every 30 minutes. If you want to click your Ice Armor, go for it, all right? I click Conjure Food, I click Conjure Mana Citron. I should not be doing this too much in combat. Clicking it is not a huge, huge, huge deal, right? If you want to click uh, Arcane Elect, yeah, maybe you could even click Arcane Elect if you wanted. Um, the difference is, and I, I did talk about this in my rank video, is when you're dueling a Shaman, you might want like a rank one Dampen Magic to throw up so he has to spam Purge it. That is something you would want to keybind because you're going to be using it in combat. But mana pools in vanilla really don't allow for rebuffing max ranks in combat too often. So if you get Purge, you'd use the rank one. So you should be able to use key bindings like Alt-1 for something that you might not use as frequently, maybe Shift-5 for something you might not use as frequently, or you could even click the abilities that you aren't using as frequently if you don't have enough key bindings to cover everything. So that pretty much covers, guys. Be comfortable. Um, put key binds that make sense to your brain and, and uh, have a um, system that is um, all the same for all of your mouse over or focus macros. Like abilities, group them on your action bar so you can look down at a glance and see them instantly. And then for stuff you're not hitting often, you can have it on those harder to hit keybinds. On the stuff that you're hitting frequently and in sequence, make sure that you can hit them on easy keybinds in sequence. And other than that, comfortability, do what makes sense to you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you did not enjoy the video, give it a big thumbs down. That's okay too. Talk to me down below in the comments what you guys want to see in the next upload. I really do read the comments and I want to see like th this video right here is because a lot of people were like, Zaryu, I don't know what to do for key bindings. I'm lost. So I made this video. What do you guys want to know? I have made an AOE guide, um, a talent guide, spec guide, a macro guide, key binding guide, anything else you guys want to know about classic World of Warcraft. Let me know down below in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys in the next upload.